Ray asks, along with hundreds, thousands of millions of other people ask, why is my iMac so slow? I'm gonna tell you why and tell you how to fix it. A slow iMac probably has this type of hard drive. It has a spinning platter inside it with a little needle that reads information. Uh, this is technology from the 1800s. <laughs> Even if you got it recently, iMacs came with these hard drives up until like mid 2020. This is the current technology. It's called solid state. It's extremely fast and current iMacs come with these. I'm gonna show you the difference between these two types of hard drives and how to get a solid state hard drive in your Mac. So you'll know if you have the older, slower style of hard drive, if you click on an app to open it and you see this. You can also check from about this Mac. So if you go to the Apple menu and then about this Mac, and then you go to storage. If on your computer you see SATA, S-A-T-A storage, or Fusion drive, those are the old style of hard drive. If you see solid state drive or flash storage, those are the new type of hard drive. And when you have the new type of hard drive, the solid state drive, when you click on that same app, it looks like this. So if you wanna have an iMac with a solid state hard drive, uh, of course the first thing you could do if you want to is buy a new iMac with a solid state hard drive. Uh, you do need to custom order those, so you would just go to the Apple website, go to Mac, go to iMac, choose the iMac that you want. You can click buy in the top right. And then when you choose the iMac that you want, just make sure that it is a solid state hard drive that you are getting. So this is SSD, this is solid state storage, 256 gigs. The Fusion drive, this is the slow type of hard drive, or you can get a bigger solid state drive. So I would recommend the 256, 512, or one terabyte here, as long as it says SSD. Uh, the second option would be if you already have an iMac and you want to exchange it, you can just call Apple and see if they'll exchange it for you. You can also ask them if they will install a solid state hard drive for you. Uh, third option would be uh, Google in your area for Apple authorized service provider with your city after that. So you would go Google Apple authorized service provider Vancouver. And these are people who can do hardware installs in a computer, inside a Mac. And so you can do that Google. You can also go to locate.apple.com. So when you go to locate.apple.com, it gives you different uh, entry points to find service and authorized service providers. When you find an Apple authorized service provider near you, just call them up and ask them if they can do a solid state hard drive install for you. This is a super common request. I'm sure they will say yes. And then just ask them if you can buy the hard drive from them or if you need to get your own. If you need to get your own, then you can probably go to Amazon uh, or wherever you wanna shop and just do a search for maybe two terabyte SSD, four terabyte SSD, something like that, uh, just so that you're not wrestling with storage and then just get something Crucial, something Samsung. These are all great, totally fine. Once you have the drive, you can bring the computer and the solid state drive to that shop that you found. Uh, these are things that myself or my team can help you with. Uh, make sure that you're getting an SSD, a solid state drive that is big enough for your current and future needs. So like when you go to About This Mac and then go to Storage, check how much free space you currently have and then get a bigger drive, like so that you have more space. Then also you want to make sure that you have a time machine backup of your current computer. We can help you with that. Uh, and make sure that you have all the most important stuff uh, in a cloud as well as the time machine backup. And we can help you with that. So please reach out. Myself or my team can help you with any part of this or even just giving you the advice on how to, to do this and how to handle it. You will love the result. Boom, I'm at Epiphany. If you want professional one-on-one -on -one help with the tips in this video or with anything else in your Mac lifestyle, 
head to macandhome.com to schedule a consult. Why is my iMac so slow? I'm going to tell you. It is because of this giant, ugly, fat hard drive. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two hard drives.